it's time for a book haul. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and as you just saw, I bought more books. <laughs> this is actually gonna be the first of quite a few hauls here on my channel because COVID has been terrible for my wallet. Left alone with online shopping and left to my own devices, well, my wallet's hurting, let's just put it that way. So without further ado, this is a massive haul. I think this is one of my biggest, but then again, I always do big book outlet hauls, so what else is new? But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into those two massive boxes. I'm excited. All right, friends, so per usual, because most of these books I don't know anything about, I'm just gonna be running through the titles and sharing them with you guys. This is a super random haul. I got some things in here that I don't think I would normally ever pick up, but I'm trying to expand my reading experience, expand my reading types, and I'm real excited about it. So some of this stuff in here is gonna be a little different, but I think it's gonna be good. So we're just gonna fly through them all and it's gonna be great. So first off, I got The Little Book of Self-Care for Aries. This is a book I saw Books and Lala Riff uh, doing in her Reading Like an Aries video, and I thought it sounded super interesting. To be honest, I really don't follow astrological signs at all, um, so it'll be kind of interesting, I think, just based on that opinion of that you know I think overall it's just gonna be quick tips and self-care which I'm all about next so I don't think I've read a manga since middle school but I saw this one online and this is how to treat magical beasts mine and master's medical journal and this is by Kiaza I know I'm saying that wrong but this just looked like a really sweet cute manga about animals and honestly I have no other reason than it was something different that I wanted to check out. Next is Janet Jaren Lanner's 10 Arguments for Deleting Your Social Media Accounts Right Now. I have a whole stance against social media currently at the moment. I haven't really been using it in a while and it's been very good for me so I just thought this would be interesting. It's super short, super quick, and thought it would be interesting. I have no reasons. I have no explanations. I just see what I like and I go for it. Okay, next I have Close to You by Kristen Proby. I'm trying to get more into adult romance and thought this one looked a little bit steamy. So, and it had good ratings on Goodreads. So I'll let you know what I think of this. Okay, next is Everyone's an Alien If You're an Alien 2 by Johnny Sun. This I thought just looked so cute. It's an illustrated book that I've seen over the years so much and just thought it would be really adorable and trying to get more into poetry and just again expanding the things that I read and this was something different. Next is I think you're wrong but I'm listening. So I am very much not a politically minded person however I am trying to in the current climate expand my knowledge expand a little bit of my understanding of the world and I just thought this was a really great kind of book especially nowadays with just the way the world is politically especially in the United States and I just thought it would be a good book to read and maybe pass along to others. Next I got Pure Inside the Evangelical Movement that Shamed a Generation of Young Women and How I Broke Free by Linda K. Klein. Again, this is more just concerning sexual, how did she phrase it, sexual, the purity movement, um, and just seemed really interesting to be honest. Um, so I picked it up. <laughs> I really have no explanation or reason for any of these. I don't know why I'm trying to justify my purchases. I'm just going to show you the books. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Next is 102 Minutes, The Unforgettable Story of the Fight to Survive Inside the Twin Towers by Jim Dyer and Kevin Flynn. This, I got a couple of books about 9-11 uh, as well as the Titanic, which you guys will see later in this video. Two events in history that very much intrigued me, and so I thought it would be good to pick up some stuff to learn a little bit more about it. Next is Blended by Shannon M. Draper. 
Then I picked up The Science of Superstition, How the Developing Brain Creates Supernatural Beliefs by Bruce M. Hood. A Night to Remember, The Classic Accounts of the Final Hours of the Titanic by Walter Lord. Super short book too. Then something really interesting that I'm definitely excited for is Rosa Parks' My Story. Um, I think this is going to be super, super interesting and super necessary for me to read given everything going on in the world right now. So I wanted to pick this one up. Then we have 910, a September 11th story by Nora Reynold Baskin. Psych Experiments by Mitchell A. Britt, which is essentially like psych experiments you can technically, I think, try or like learn about, which very much intrigues me. Next, we have a hard copy of Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I have the rest of the series in hardcover and had the paperback of the original, so I wanted to get the hardcover. Next, I have The Midnight Watch by David Dreyer. Again, another Titanic book. Then I got Agatha, Thr Agatha Christie's and then there were none. I've been much more interested in hers since I saw the Night at the Orient Express and I've kind of wanted to now get into like murder mystery books so thought she would be a great place to start. We Need to Talk How to Have Conversations That Matter by Celeste Headley. Headley? Uh, Elon Musk and the Quest for a Fantastic Future by Ashley Vance. This has been apparently adapted for young readers, which I did not realize until I got it in the mail, but I also think this will be an interesting quick read. What the Stars Are Made Of by Sarah Allen. This had incredible reviews on Goodreads. It is a middle grade, but I'm really finding middle grade to be some of my favorite books I've been reading lately, so definitely had to pick this one up. Freaky Friday by Mary Rogers in a very interesting edition. This is not the edition I thought I was getting, which sometimes happens with Book Outlet, but I'm intrigued. I read this years ago and thought it'd be a cute one to go back to. Ending the last, this is book one by Catherine Applegate. I've been trying to read all of Catherine Applegate's books because I just think they're amazing, so wanted to pick this one up as well. I got another graphic novel. This is Five Worlds, The Cobalt Prince. This is book two. Book one is in here somewhere, but this is looks like a beautiful, really pretty graphic novel, which I'm trying to read more of again, going outside my comfort zone. And this is by Mark Shegel, Alexis Shegel, and Matt Rockefeller, with a few others as well. Another nonfiction I got is The Nocturnal Brain, Nightmares, Neuroscience, and the Secret World of Sleep by Guy Schessenzeiner. That's definitely wrong and I apologize, but I'm fascinated with the idea of sleep and dreams and nightmares, so wanted to pick this one up. Next, I got Coraline by Neil Gaiman. This is actually the graphic novel, which I did not realize until I got it in the mail, but I'm intrigued to see it because it looks really beautiful and I like the movie, so thought this would be good to maybe keep until Halloween time, potentially. Another kind of spooky book is My Friend Dahmer by Durf Backdurf. Interesting name. Um, but this is the graphic novel about Jeffrey Dahmer, who was the serial killer. I'm intrigued by this. I am not sure how it's gonna go, but thought it would be interesting to check out. Next, we have another middle grade. This is Caterpillar Summer by Jillian McDunn. I saw this, again, having really great ratings on Goodreads, trying to expand my knowledge of middle grade books, and just thought this looked adorable. So, gonna check it out. A couple more nonfiction. I have Barnum by Robert Wilson. The Greatest Showman is one of my favorite movies of all time, so I had to pick up some more to learn about the man behind the movie and just think this one's going to be a good one. I also got The Ship of Dreams, The Sinking of the Titanic, and The End of the Edwardian Era by Garth Russell. Garth Russell? So this should be interesting. Again, something more about Titanic from a more historical perspective, which I'm very intrigued about. I have the other book in one of these boxes, but I got When She Reigns, The Fallen Isles Trilogy by Jody Meadows. I have the first book and then the second or third, whichever one this one falls into is also in this order as well. 
And then a couple really, really random stuff. I got the complete guide to stretching because I'm trying to work on my flexibility. Be warned, there may be a video coming soon about that, potentially. But I was very intrigued with this and wanted to check it out and just see if it was something that could help me because I am not a flexible human being at all. And then I also got the five minutes hairstyles book which again something kind of interesting again I could probably google or like youtube most of these but I just thought it'd be cute to try and then maybe work my way through the book and see with my hair if any of these could work out who knows another graphic novel I got is fables by Bill Willingham and this one just looked again very interesting I think this is based on like fairy tale creatures if I'm not mistaken to be honest I really didn't look much into this one before I purchased it but thought it could be something good and the last book that I have in this first box from book outlet is exploring the Britannica the life last voyage and wreck of the Titanic's tragic twin by Simon Mills first box empty All right, moving into the second box, I got a couple more nonfiction memoirs, and the first one is My Story by Elizabeth Stewart, Girl Logic, The Genius and the Absurdity by Eliza Slicken... Slishing... Slissinger? I know I'm mispronouncing that. I love her. I watched all of her things on Netflix, her comedy sketches, and I think she's hilarious, so I definitely wanted to check out her book. And the other one is Member of the Family, My Story of Charles Manson, Life Inside His Cult, and the Darkness That Ended the 60s by Diane Lake. Very intrigued about this one, for sure. Next, a couple of series that I picked up, which I'm very excited about, are two complete collections by uh, Hugh Lofting regarding Dr. Doolittle. So this both have three stories in them, The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle, The Story of Dr. Doolittle, and Dr. Doolittle's Post Office in Volume 1. And then this one contains Dr. Doolittle's Circus, Dr. Doolittle's Caravan, and Dr. Doolittle and the Green Canary in Volume 2. Moving into some more middle grade, this is a pretty middle grade heavy order. I got Kenny and the Dragon by Tony D. Terezzi. I know I'm mispronouncing that again. I apologize, you guys. But this is a really cute story, it looks like, by the guy who wrote the Spiderwick Chronicles, and I am obsessed with his artwork so much. So I saw this and had to pick it up. I also got Soldier Boy, a novel based on a true story from the Ugandan Civil War by Keely Hutton, as well as The Boy in the Wooden Box, How the Impossible Became Possible on Schindler's List by Leon Layson. Both books that I think are going to be very important reads for me. Another middle grade I got was Scary Stories for Young Foxes by Christian McKay Heidegger. I thought this would be a really cute one to read around Halloween time. Two more more graphic novel type books I got. Sloth Helda Living the Sloth Life by Dante Fiber. This I just thought looked adorable, as well as Introvert Doodles by Maureen Wilson. Super cute, just random stuff to have. I also got Listen to Me by Kristen Proby. This is another fusion novel. I think this is either the first or second one to the other one that I showed. I got Cleaning Sucks, an NF Your Habitat guided journal for less mess, less stress, and a home you don't hate. I'm horrible at cleaning. I hate cleaning. I don't like to clean. I don't want to clean. So I thought this could help. <laughs> another self-help book is You Can Always Change the Love of Your Life for Another Love or Another Life by Amalia Adrandi. And I recently got out of a very very long-term relationship and thought this would be a very good one to go through. Simple as that. I have Five Worlds, The Sand Warrior. This is the first book to the other graphic novel I showed you. Again, I just think these look beautiful. A couple poetry collections that I got is The Dark Between Stars by Atticus and Full Circadia Moon by Marilyn Hilton. And I both thought these are just going to be really quick, really interesting reads as well. We're almost done. <laughs> I also got As She Ascends by Jodi Meadows. Again, the other book in the Fallen Isles trilogy. 
I also got the Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Viterbi. Apologies again for the mispronunciation. Um, I'm very intrigued by this story and think it's going to be very impactful. I also got another nonfiction, which is The Rise and Fall of Dinosaurs, A New History of Their Lost World by Steve Bruchotti. Meet Me in Monaco, a novel of Grace Kelly's Royal Wedding by Hazel Gaynor and Heather Webb. Obsessed by Alison Britz, a memoir of my life with OCD. I'm very interested in mental health for several reasons. It's very personal to me, but I thought this one would be a really interesting memoir. As someone who doesn't live with OCD, I wanted to kind of experience that world and see what it would be like from someone who actually experiences it. And the last two things we have for my gigantic, ginormous book outlet haul is Two Middle Grade One, which is Absolutely Normal Chaos by Sharon Creech, and the full collection of Paddington books by Mark Bond, Michael Bond, apologies. And look how cute this collection is. It's precious. For those of you guys who've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I've been collecting the Paddington books and I saw this up on Book Outlet and just had to get it because these are just adorable. And it now completes my entire collection in a cute fancy box. So there you go. All right, friends, there you have it. The most giant random book outlet haul that there has ever been. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know down in the comments which books you guys think I should read first, if there's any books that you recommend, any books you don't recommend. I love to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more of my face and I'll see you guys in the next one. I gotta go put all these away now. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye!